Hey, hey, everybody. This is Eddie in Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. We're going to stick with XRP today and a little bit of news coming out of Japan. Matty Greenspan, it's very interesting. He tweeted about 18 hours ago that while the rest of the crypto market is stalling, XRP is pumping hard this morning. And actually right now, XRP, Litecoin, and BTC are still hanging on to their green gains. The transactions in XRP went quiet from December 11th, he wrote, but came back with a vengeance on January 26th. And you can see that he has a little bit of a historical chart here, and we can really see that surge that occurred at the very end of January, starting February. So let's see. It looks very promising. Let's see if we can keep this momentum. All right, I'm on my channel here, and you can see these are a lot of the videos that I've released in the last couple of weeks. And for some reason, I don't know why, but so many media stories out there right now in regards to the Q3 results that Mr. Kital uh, presented uh, more than two weeks ago. So I covered it two weeks ago and just of late, like in the last 24 hours, there seems to be a uh, plethora of stories talking about what he said. So I'm going to put the audio file, which is translated in English in the description. So you can listen to that hour and a half yourself. If you missed it on the video that I put out a couple of weeks ago. He talks about being so bullish on XRP, talks a lot about R3, and he also is uh, quoted as saying that he believes that XRP will exceed the Bitcoin market cap. So it's kind of um, interesting. He, he is absolutely the raging bull for XRP. But if you are reading those stories and you want to know where the source is coming from, it is that hour and a half presentation and it's translated in English for you. Okay. Well, this created a little bit of a stir. So the company Trader's Way, which is an FX broker, they said that payments are now available. Ripple payments are available now. And the Trader's Way is a prime online Forex and CFD broker. And it's pleased to offer one more payment option to its clients, Ripple. And the new money transfer option added to, and then they have a Facebook announcement. And I think everyone was thinking, wow, did XRP really crack the nut of FX? And the fact that they were using Ripple, and I kind of thought, hmm, this is, this is maybe they've got it wrong because, you know, the Ripple, the company, and XRP, the digital asset, they have branded uh, themselves in two different entities. And still there's a lot of people that are calling uh, wrongly XRP, they're calling Ripple. So I think there's just a lot of people who are a little bit behind. When we go to the Trader's Way website, you can see that it falls under the payment options and they give you a little bit of history of the company Ripple. And then it says that uh, explains that it keeps back those 20 XRP for deposits lower than 1,000 XRP and the required minimum amount for withdrawal. And it gives you pretty much the um, basis as a, if you want to open an account, you can do that and you can trade with using your Ripple. But I just thought, you know, I need to ask and clarify. So I got on their chat and just proceeded to ask them, are they talking about Ripple, the payments company doing settlements in the RippleNet technology? Or are you talking about using XRP to uh, open an account and trade with? And what I got was that, yes, we offer Ripple as a payment method, so you would send XRP. So they were just a little bit confused. I told them that they need to change their website and also clarify on their tweet. But uh, they were just using the word Ripple when they meant to use the word XRP. So I don't think they cracked the FX nut for doing settlement on RippleNet technology. What it is, is that you can open up an account. And if you want to try FX, Trader's Way looks very good, actually, because you can do a test demo account with just $10. So 
uh, if you want to try your hand at trading FX, whether it's the US dollar, the Euro, the Canadian dollar, or the British pound sterling, you can do that on Trader's Way. Okay, it looks like Japan is getting ready for something big. So they just uh, have announced the FSA, which is the Financial Service Agency, that they are going to make a new category for being able to transfer more than a million yen, which is $10,000, uh, for entities other than banks. So this really opens up the options and the way to move money here in a big way. I think there is something uh, cooking. So originally the current well, the current remittance trader has an upper limit of 1 million yen if you are not a bank. So it's going to be changed through the licensed system and it'll be specialized for businesses. So I am just thinking what in the world is happening? Absolutely for sure this change is getting uh, in preparation for something big. All right, I need to go back a little bit because we need to be sure that everybody understands Bitco. So it was back in, let me take a peek here, February 2017 that Ripple announced that Bitco was going to build the enterprise wallet for XRP. And today we learned that Bitco announced a comprehensive insurance protections for digital assets. Wow, they did it with Lloyd's. Lloyd's of London is kind of special because they will, they've been very progressive. Um, they have done things like insuring Keith Richard uh, guitar of the Rolling Stones. So they are very famous for uh, insuring some very difficult things to insure. But in this case, they actually did a very rigorous assessment of the Bitco hardware, software, and physical security. And they are un going to underwrite, listen to this, custodial assets held by either Bitco Inc or Bitco Trust Company, and they will insure that up to a hundred million US dollars through Lloyd's. The Bitco business wallet clients will be able to purchase theft insurance and lost key cover. That is amazing. You know, I think those of you who have followed me know that I lost my private keys to the first Bitcoin I bought back in January of 2014. And, and um, I have the wallet address, but I'm, I'm locked out. I can't get in. So that key recovery service can be insured now for the assets through the digital asset services. And it also includes cyber theft. So this is really great. And the most uh, important thing about this insurance uh, being offered is that it has no additional cost to the Bitco clients. So third party hacks, insider theft from employees or somebody uh, gets those private keys and physical loss or damage of private keys. Amazing. I just think this is amazing. I think it's amazing. Okay, and I do often get the question, what is the best wallet for XRP? Well, just recently on the 4th of February, we have a kind of a comparison of the seven best XRP wallets for 2019. And I will put a link to this down in the description. And you can see here this coin payments, which is rated third. It gets uh, five stars. It is actually secured by Bitco. So I am... Uh, thinking if you wanted to do your uh, research and comparison, I'll put this link down in the comment section. And again, I'm jumping back a little bit. Let me just see the date here, April 26, 2018. I'm jumping back a bit because there is another press release that I think we need a little back information to fully understand. So in this one, Ripple announced that XVIA opens new doors to emerging markets. And this is when they announced some new partners and the new XVIA partner they announced at this time was uh, Fair FX. That's the one in particular I want to remember. Then the exchange for free, the Rational FX and Unipay, and of course, Money Match. 
uh, respectively number five. And the XVIA standard API solution to power payments through RippleNet and access new markets, including emerging markets, faster and more efficiently. So F XVIA, everyone should know, does have the capability to use XRP now. Okay, and here is the actual uh, press release from about 15 hours ago. So Fair FX is granted settlement accounts at the Bank of England, and it has been granted as the uh, in turn to become a direct participant in the UK faster payment scheme. This is really a good step. So the EPS is one of the fastest growing UK payment systems and the only real-time 24 by 7 service. And when I take you actually to their website, we can see how the faster payments work. So you have a remitting customer and then you can choose a choice or channel. And then of course the payment instructions are given to the bank and then the sending bank makes sure that it goes to the receiving bank so that the beneficiary or customer can receive its money. The Faster Payments Group in the UK actually started in 2008. They have made over 9 billion payments, equaling about 6 trillion uh, pounds. They have 400 financial institutions that they have been able to reach with their 21, and now I would imagine it's 22, partners. There are 52 million account holders in the UK. If we look at their partners, you can see you're going to recognize a lot of names like City and Barclays, and you even see Lloyd's, HSBC, some big ones here, Santander, TransferWise, which we know that the CEO just recently uh, left, and he was on the fence for using the RippleNet technology, I think Ripple has a great chance to go back and pitch them again. But you can see here they are very important partners to make those payments happen. And there's, yeah, 9 billion payments have been made since the Faster Payments has uh, been developed in the UK. Now, watch this. This is interesting. I think there is a huge opportunity here. So this is on their infrastructure renewal and the parent company of the Faster Payments Pay UK is seeking to appoint a strategic partner, whether a single supplier or consortium, which is capable of implementing a scalable, world-class infrastructure for the new payments architecture. So they are in the process of searching for a new solution opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. All right, I'm going to the fluff, everybody. Wow, it, I really moved quite fast, I think. That's good. So here we have, it's getting close to cherry blossom season. Actually, we're in cherry blossom season in Okinawa, and that's why I'm going to Okinawa next Monday. I want to see the very first cherry blossoms of the season. And this is a cherry blossom flowering forecast map. So if you come to Japan and you want to plan your trip around cherry blossom season, which I would highly recommend, uh, you can see that if you go to the island of Kyushu, for example, it starts um, quite, quite earlier than Tokyo. Tokyo actually happens around the 30th or April 1st. And then if you are going up north into Hokkaido, you can see cherry blossoms as late as May. So I think everybody's dream is to actually start in Okinawa, which is very far south. It is near Taiwan. And can you imagine hitting every season in every region of the country for how long could you do it? Mm, February, March, April, May. For four months, you could travel and see cherry blossoms throughout the whole country. That's a dream. And the cherry blossoms, the species, are a little different in Okinawa. This is what they look like in Okinawa. It looks very different than the Yoshino 
um, species here in Tokyo. I think they're quite beautiful though. It'll be the first time that I have seen this species. They, uh, this tree originally came from Taiwan. I think it was a gift from Taiwan. And I wanted to let everyone know that if you come to Tokyo, uh, I have been to many different cherry blossom spots and the Meguro River, in my opinion, is the best time uh, or best place to go. Not only daytime, but I think my favorite time is at night because they light the blossoms up from below with lanterns and it's quite beautiful. And you can walk on either side of the river and it's a nice, beautiful uh, view because you're under a canopy of blossoms. And when it gets to the end, it just rains cherry blossom petals into the river, which looks so, so beautiful. All right. And the last picture I want to share with you is a traditional sakura, which is the word for cherry blossom picture with the, of course, uh, bridge and castle. And it is very symbolic in Japan. It is not only to celebrate a new beginning, but it is also a reminder of how short life is. And the haiku poetry has been uh, written for centuries with the theme of cherry blossom. And I was just going to read you a short one by one of the great haiku masters, Isa. So even an old man has New Year's eyes, cherry blossoms. Short, sweet, very nice. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.